guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new Home Bargains video. And we have got a big, chunky haul today. My bag matches my top. I absolutely love this bag. I got it from Ikea. It's one of their like super industrial heavy duty bags and it does not disappoint. I headed down to Home Bargains right at the beginning of April to see what was new in store for you guys, and it didn't disappoint, so if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the screen here, and I will also link it down in the description box if you wanna see everything that's new in store, and trust me, I held back on this occasion. There were so many things that I was like, oh, I definitely could get that, oh, I could get that for the garden now, but I was like, I'm just gonna wait and see what they actually what else they bring in, because I feel like more is coming. But I still picked up a respectable big amount of stuff here, so without further ado, cozy up on the sofa, grab your favorite drink of choice, sit back, kick back for this duration of the video, take a bit of time out for you, and enjoy seeing what I picked up in store. You might want to get something too. First thing I'm just gonna quickly skim by is I got another one of these pots from the Jardin range. This is like £1.79, I think. I've got another Dahlia tuber I want to plant, so I'm gonna pop it in here. I've already got one at the moment. The pots and stuff in Home Bargains are such a good deal. I'm actually on the lookout for their like woven planter. I'm sure I'll come across it, so keep tuned to the videos. I guess it makes sense to go on to this next, um, but this was on like reduction on top of reduction, I think, and there was only two left in store. I actually picked up another one, so I picked up two of these. It is the Vintage Glass Plant Mister. It hydrates your indoor plants in style with this Vintage Glass Mister branded product, and it just looks like this. I actually got Andy's now one for her birthday it's actually glass which is nice so it's good quality and i think these could just look nice on a shelf but i genuinely am going to be using this in my greenhouse so i've got a few seedlings at the moment in modules and in like trays and sometimes when you saturate them with water it's not good they just want like a light misting this is ideal because you can just fill it up with water and then you just pump it out a bit like a perfume spray and this was reduced from like i don't know what the rrp was you'll have to see in the video but it was reduced to 199 when I was at the till and I had the two on the till, this lady like literally grabbed it and she was like, oh, and I sort of just gave her this look like, that that's mine, I'm paying for it right now. She just sort of looked at me and didn't speak English. She was like, oh, and I was like, okay. But it goes to show they probably do catch people's eyes. I also in Poundland seen these as well. I did do a Poundland come shop with me. If you haven't seen that, they've got amazing stuff in at the moment as well. Couldn't believe it was Poundland. Couple of boring things, but I was desperate for ketchup. So I got a massive ketchup for like, this is under four pounds. It's it beats all of the other stores. It's still not cheap in my opinion, but it does beat the other stores. And I just got a jar of green pesto. Oh, and I randomly also bought this, um, sauerkraut. Now I haven't had sauerkraut in ages, but it's actually really good for you. So it's just like pickled cabbage, essentially. I think it's like an Eastern European thing. Um, but yeah, I do like sauerkraut. There's a few different things you can have it with, but I'm going to give this one a go and you get this massive jar and I think it was like 99p. I've then mentioned this before, but Home Bargains is an awesome place to get individual wines. They don't have a huge selection, but I always get the white wines because I personally don't drink white wine, but like my mum, my nan, my friends do. So when they come round, it's nice to offer them one. And this is only a pound a bottle. These are just the last couple of food items that I got. I'm skimming through them really quick, but I also got some pine nuts. Home Bargains have started stocking this Bradbury's range, and it's got all of the like nuts and seeds. You can get a big bag of chia seeds. These pine nuts, I think were like, £1.99, maybe just under £2. It was so cheap. Whereas if you buy these in like Asda, Sainsbury's, pine nuts are so expensive. So winning on that, I get my mixed seeds and everything from there too. I just got another bottle of Fry Light because we're out. And then unfortunately, we are coming into hay fever season. I am not excited about that. I'm excited about the weather going up, but not the hay fever because I suffer from it quite bad. So I picked up a Alivia ahead of that time. You get seven tablets in here and I think this is like £2.50 but I found that this was the best one that works for me. Oh sorry, last thing, dumpling mix as well. This is like 69p, perfect to elevate the casserole. When I was in Home Bargains, I seen they had a whole stand of like travel sized things, like the little miniature ones. So if you're going hand carry only anywhere and you need to buy the small ones, because at the end of the day, they're always gonna be worse value for money because they're just the smaller product. However, if you don't want to overpay more than you should have to, 
Home Bargains was the place to go. I picked up these two items from Simple. I love Simple because it's pizza approved. I got the Simple Refreshing Face Wash and I've had one of these before. It's just perfect size for holiday. And then I've never seen this before, but they have the Simple Hydrating Moisturizer. So again, these are such ideal sizes for traveling and they were 99p each. I will then stick on beauty while I'm here. I picked up a little multi-pack. I don't actually know how much this was. I think it was like 49p. Um, of the mascara ones. I have started doing my own lashes, like the semi-permanent lashes, and I'm going to be sharing all about that in a vlog coming up because I've just been on this little journey of discovery and I've managed to do my own lashes. This is then like way later, so this is not how they look when I do them properly. We are like seven days in now, but I'm pretty impressed and I just needed some mascara ones because this is how you can brush them out and make them all fluffy. So I got them. The star of the show in the last video, the Bargain Blip product that just blows my mind. I already have one of these and I showed them to you in the last Home Bargains haul. It is Bondi Sands. This is the pure self-tanning drops. They are selling these in store and they re retail at £15. I checked the like Bondi Sands website. I checked the, was it look fantastic or something? They are retailing at £15 on there and they are £1.99 in store. They only had one left, so I grabbed it because this is gonna be a great gifting option to hold back. I know plenty of my friends that would love this. And then I didn't even notice next to it, I got too excited about seeing the tanning drops again because they're kind of a trending product where you mix it into your moisturizer. Um, but I totally didn't even see this is just as exciting. The Bondi Sands self-tanning face mist with the hyaluronic acid and ceramides. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. I don't know if I'm gonna gift it. Like, this is what it looks like. So if you just prefer the bottle spray rather than drops, which I have used in the past, then this could be the best option for you. This was also $1.99 and the retail price was the same because I imagine it is the same product, just slightly diluted. And then obviously you can use it as a face mist. Both work really well. I haven't tried this specific face spray, but I've used a tanning face spray. I just can't get over RRP 15 pounds genuinely online right now. And these are 199 each. Moving on to some cleaning items. I picked up another one of these Sonic scrubbers, if that's what they're called. This is just an electric cleaning brush set, but they are the Sonic Scrubber. This is basically, I'm gonna guess, a knockoff of the actual brand that you can get on Amazon. But this was only 5 dollars and it comes with all the heads. I had this before and it just broke because I overused it, but I, I genuinely do miss it. So $5.99, amazing value for money. They're usually about 10 to 15 pounds for the Sonic Scrubber. I picked up a pack of the Ultra Color Absorbers. I think this was about three pounds, two pound 50, but I do like to use these in a wash. I'm doing a multicolor wash. I don't buy the Dr. Beckman ones because I swear they're like six pounds and they do exactly the same thing. I then finally, finally found these. I've seen someone share them on Instagram and Home Bargains reposted it and I was like, what on earth is a vapor shower tablet? But it turns out it says infuses with shower steam. Infuses with shower steam, yeah, that doesn't even make sense. Breathe easy, contains menthol, eucalyptus and camphor. And essentially this is like, and basically it turns your shower into like a steam room. It was like £2.50 I think for this packet and you do only get three tablets in there so technically it's kind of expensive considering but oh, I can smell it through the packaging. It does smell like a steam room like um mainly eucalyptus I can smell in there but I thought you know when you just you know when you just need a little bit extra you've got a blocked up nose and when you get in the shower you're just feeling a bit oh, you can just maybe chuck this down in the shower and it just makes it literally a steam room i just thought it was a really cool concept i totally bought into a fad there but if any of you have used that and it works let me know because it'll probably be a little while hopefully until i'm sick because i've just recovered from being sick i then grabbed a packet of the astonish um power action bleach foam and fresh little toilet refreshers i only grab these sometimes but i will always get from astonish because they are cruelty free always look out for this label guys honestly it's changed everything since i started buying cruelty free products it's just so much better it doesn't cost any more money you've just got to pay a little bit of attention that's all and the last couple of products that i got is another astonish product and this one is for the shower this is the daily shower shine the white lilies one we get a lot of lime scale build up in our shower because it's just glass so you can really see it but this is just a daily shower shine so every time you have a shower you can just spray this down and leave it and it just kind of helps to get rid of that lime scale i do find this works better 
if you give it a good scrub, but you don't have to. It's one of those where you can just, if you daily keep on top of it after you've given your shower a really good clean, then it sort of keeps on top of it for you, if you know what I mean. The other product then that I got is this. It just looks really nice. Fabulosa is another brand that I buy from because they're cruelty free. However, any of my other cruelty free warriors out there, do let me know. Is Fabulosa like totally cruelty free all the way down to their ingredients and everything? Because I've checked a few websites and like half are saying yes 100% they're cruelty free they don't test on animals anywhere in the world they don't supply that none of their initial ingredients are and then I've seen elsewhere that apparently they supply to China basically China's the only country in the world that require animal testing which is just vile so backwards how they're allowed to be like that there is many things that I've got wrong with that country but <laughs> we won't discuss that in this video but I don't want to give Fabulosa a bad name if they aren't fully cruelty free they 100% this product 100% is in this country right now uh, but obviously it's just one of those things I notice it doesn't have the logo on it which does concern me but on their website it does say they are cruelty free so it's just a concern of whether outside of the UK they're not cruelty free anyway this looks really nice the ocean breeze bathroom foamer foaming cleaner suitable for all hard surfaces I really like the illustration of like the underwater theme and it just looked really appealing for the bathroom so I thought I'd give this a go and obviously it's supposed to be foaming as well moving into random items slash ones for the house etc this is just so cute it's jerry's birthday in may and he's gonna be three i've already got him balloons from timu and stuff but i spotted this in home bargains which is a pet birthday kit they did this in pink and in blue so i got jerry the blue one so it includes a cake topper bunting three balloons a party hat and a bandana i think this was like 2.99 might have been 3.99 actually but how cute is that i love getting a little birthday photo of him so this is going to be adorable it wasn't really a choice to buy this it's just too cute and these last two items one is for the garden and one is for the house the one for the house i shall start with is this did i need another tray absolutely not did i get one anyway i absolutely did this is from the home collections and it's a really nice seagrass tray and this is just going to be lovely I love this kind of style of stuff generally throughout the year but spring summer when we're bringing all of those more like natural elements into the house this is just beautiful and it's a really good size as well that's what I liked about it I think this was only three pounds as well like it was it was really affordable especially considering I've been in B&M I shop in B&M often and I do the come shop with me's for you guys and I swear they did one kind of similar to this and you're looking at eight pounds so three pounds is massively undercutting B&M so I'm probably just gonna style that with some stuff on it in the living room soon when I take all the Easter and spring stuff down and then the final item which I am very excited about when we can finally get out in the garden I will be re jizzing up our bar because if you are new around here I bought a garden bar last year we did it all up it looks really good we've got a neon sign in the back we've got our optics dispensers with our spirits and stuff but we just never got to use it last year and it kind of didn't get that final push of love we also needed some lights for it and I spotted these in home bargains and I just loved the look of them this is part of the firefly solar light company range so everything in this I think is solar light and they have got a massive selection I give you a little look through in the shop with me so if you want to check out what else they've got they've got everything from ones that go in the ground to hanging lights to like almost art lights to even freestanding floor lamps like it is awesome this I honestly really really like this range of stuff love the packaging and everything too but this one is the 10 festoon solar lights and as you can see they're all misshapen and they're all different and it kind of looks like they've got that exposed element in there as well that you can buy in bulbs i thought i could put this in the bar and then we can put the little solar panel on the roof so it should hopefully harvest a nice lot of sun and be somewhat bright because that's the only problem with solar lights is i struggle that they're not that bright but hopefully these will be half decent these were really cheap as well i think they were like nine pounds correct me if i'm wrong if you watch the video but i'll put it in the screen here actually just to double check because obviously i'll go back and look they were under 10 pounds anyway oh my gosh look at that sun Hello, son. Please do join us. Either way, I thought it was a really good deal. And they are plastic. They're not glass, but obviously better for outdoor use just in case they smash. And that is everything I got in Home Bargains. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for spending some time with me. I'm going to leave some videos in the screen here for you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my uploads. I upload three times a week on this channel. Thank you all so much for the support. I'm watching all the way up to now, and I will see you in my next video. Ciao.